Now, in Colorado, a baker refused to make a cake for a same-sex couple. The case went to the Supreme Court, which ruled in favor of the baker. Jack Phillips is his name. He joins us now, along with his lawyer, Kristen Wagoner. First of all, to you, Mr. Mr. Jack, uh, Jack um, do you regard this as an out-and-out -out victory for your religious principles? I believe that this is a very big win for religious freedom. Um, the commission ruled egregiously against my right to uh, practice my faith. In so it, it, was, it was a verdict against the Colorado Civil Rights Commission, in fact. They t the Supreme Court took that commission to task as opposed to the gay couple or you, correct? They uh, recognized that the commission treated my uh, faith with disregard with disrespect and intolerance. How have you, so I'll, I'll get to you in a second, Kristen. Hold on. I, I just want to know how you've gone through all of this, because this is, this case has evolved over the past year at least, I think. How have you held up? This case is six years old. Six years almost. old. I'm sorry, I didn't realize that. Yeah. Okay, go. Um, knowing that I serve everybody who comes in my shop is, is good, because I serve everybody, I just don't create cakes with every message that people ask me to create. And so when the Civil Rights Commission uh, forced me to uh, start creating cakes for same-sex weddings, I'll serve the two men that came in my shop. What, what other messages would you refuse to put on a cake? Yeah, um, not just refuse to put on a cake, but cakes in general. To, I don't create cakes for Halloween. I wouldn't create cakes that would be anti-American or would be uh, disparaging against other people denigrate other people, or even uh, disparage people who identify as LGBT. It's the message of the cake. It's never the people who uh, order the cake. Okay. Uh, Kristen, your gentleman's lawyer here, does this case and the Supreme Court ruling open up this as a precedent that other business owners could say, no, I'm not selling my product to you for whatever reason? Does it open it up like that? No, it absolutely does not. The Supreme Court found that Jack serves everyone who comes into his store, but that he can't promote all messages. And that's a critical distinction that needs to be made. When we're dealing in areas involving religious hostility by the government, the court said in a 7 to 2 ruling yesterday that religious hostility by the government has no place in a pluralistic society. And that that hostility was so obvious in this case, it ruled in Jack's favor. This hostility, tell me, there was some nasty words used about Jack. Is that correct? Yes, there wasn't just nasty words, including comparing his beliefs to those of the Holocaust and slave owners, but they actually said and ruled in three other cases that cake designers who didn't want to criticize same-sex marriage with religious messages had First Amendment rights, but Jack did not because the government disagreed with his religious beliefs on marriage. Where do you go from here, Jack? Well, hopefully we go right back to making the wedding cakes. That's why I opened the bakery in the first place almost 25 years ago, to do the wedding art that I love. Now, I was told that your wife has had some trouble actually going to the bakery because of all the trouble surrounding it. It's been a very trying time over the last six years. We've had death threats. We've had, you know, scores of hundreds, thousands of emails, hateful emails, hateful phone calls. And she was, at a point, afraid to come to the shop because you never know what's going to happen. Is it just gay marriage that you object to? No, not at all. There are dozens. I gave you some examples of other uh, cakes and messages that I don't create. Um, I serve everybody who comes in the shop, gays, Catholics, Muslims, anybody. It, but it's gay marriage that you objected to in this case? In this case, I object to being forced to participate in a marriage that represents a view of marriage that goes directly against my core faith. It's the message. If, if, the, if the same couple or another gay couple turned up in your bakery again, and uh, no government agency was forcing you to make a cake in any way, shape, or form, would you do it? I would serve them. I told these two gentlemen, I'll sell you cookies, brownies, make you birthday cakes, anything. I'll make you custom cakes. This is just a cake. The message of this cake is one that I can't create. Okay. Um, do you think uh, your client here was picked on? Oh, absolutely. He was targeted because of his religious beliefs. And we need to remember that if we want freedom for ourselves, then we have to extend it to other people. Political opinions may shift, culture may shift in certain ways at certain times, but the First Amendment protection should apply to all of us, no, regardless of our beliefs on marriage. Jack, is there a particular, not a particular church, but a denomination within Christianity that you belong to? Um, not really. Um, 
I guess evangelical would be an appropriate term. Okay. But it covers a pretty wide swath. But I've, I'm a follower of Jesus Christ. Okay. Look, it was a pleasure having you on the program. Thank you. Uh, we thank, thank you. you very much for appearing. I'm sure you must be utterly exhausted. <laughs> um, we wish you well in your future endeavors. And Kirsten, thanks for joining us too. Thank, thank you. you. Good luck. All right.